if I had the opportunity to go into space, I would, but since I can't, I will go vicariously through these mice. <laughs> My name is Sam Cadena. I am an in vivo lab head in Novartis, and I work in the musculoskeletal disease group. Our interest lies in inhibiting muscle loss, or preserving muscle mass, and maintaining function, um, which is a big concern for astronauts going into space. So once uh, the muscles of the astronauts are subjected to the micro and gravity of space, uh, the muscles adapt to this new environment, and they begin to atrophy, and they get smaller. We were approached by CASIS, the Center for the Advancement of Science in Space, and they asked us if we would like to be involved in, in this next mission to uh, the International Space Station. They knew that we had a lot of models that would be relevant to this particular uh, situation. So this is a special strain of mice that are lacking a protein called MRF, which stands for muscle ring finger one. What MRF does is it labels proteins in the muscle for degradation. And so these mice are highly resistant to muscle atrophy. And the idea is to understand atrophy in any context that we can that includes space flight. Three, two, one. The mice don't wear seat belts during the launch. <laughs> they are exposed to some G-forces that are associated with, with the launch, but it's not extremely high. It's maybe two, two, three Gs, something like that, from what I understand. And then once they're in space, they're just floating around their, their space module. In the Murph knockout mice, we expect to see less muscle atrophy. The way that we measure the extent of muscle atrophy is by muscle weights. We weigh the muscle, and either it's, it's heavier or lighter. If it's lighter, obviously, it atrophied. Another way to get a closer look is to look at the cellular level. And so this means taking cross-sections of the muscle and looking at the individual cells to look at the size of the fibers. Have they grown? Have they shrunk? The research that these mice are involved in in space will be relevant to, to Earth in that it increases our understanding of MRF. I think where it's most relevant is, is probably with, with aging. As people age, they tend to get weaker, they tend to get frailer, some more than others. And so it's important because people want to maintain their independence as long as possible. I think whether it's in the context of aging or whether it's in the context of chronic disease, muscle maintenance is important in keeping that independence and that functionality.